Hey friends, my name is Lisa Sugarman and I am a mental health advocate. I'm a crisis counselor. I'm a content creator in the parenting space, but I'm also ramping up my content creation in the mental health field. Um, I have been very passionate the last several years, handful of years, uh, passionate about suicide awareness and prevention. I am a survivor of suicide loss. I lost my father to suicide when I was 10 years old, but I didn't learn that it was a suicide until I was 45 years old. So there was a 35 year gap there um, for me to, to find out the truth about his death and to begin to process that in the last 10 years and begin to speak about that and begin to write about that. And now I'm in a place where all I really wanna do is have conversations about that in an attempt to encourage other people to have conversations about it also because i understand that being a survivor of suicide loss in terms of losing someone that you love is a really really unique kind of loss and and while i, I don't mean in any way to minimize um, the way people may have lost people in other ways whether it be you know to an illness or an accident or, or what have you um, I'm just here to say that suicide loss is a very unique kind of loss that um, is a very difficult thing to navigate because in a lot of cases, we never knew the person who took their life was struggling and that was the case with my dad. Um, so I think I just really wanted to come on. I'm so used to, I'm so used to talking to people in one-dimensional ways um, in books and, and on paper that it feels good to me to be able to come on um, just me right here as I am kind of on my back porch with one little piece of uh, my own experience that I think might be helpful and I wanted to share that as a way of starting to have these kinds of conversations um, over video a little bit more often because I think that they can be um, they can be powerful tools in helping us navigate our loss and our grief. Um, so all I wanted to really say was, if you are in a situation where you've lost someone that you love to suicide, or maybe someone you know is struggling with suicidal ideation, or they've made an attempt that wasn't successful, whatever the case, um, I just hope that you'll give yourself some grace. Like that's the thing that took me a while to give myself and once I did I feel like it just it kind of opened up the path to me being able to to heal a little bit quicker um, not that there's any end to our healing when we lose someone especially to suicide but giving myself grace to be in a funk or be upset or sad or not want to share with people what I was going through or to want to share with people what I was going through, um, I kind of met myself exactly where I was along that journey and gave myself permission to just be however I was until I wasn't anymore. And it does happen that you are one way for a really long time. And then somehow in some small ways and in some big ways it changes. So um, I hope this is the first of many conversations about this because I really just want to keep sharing my story in an effort to help other people open up and share theirs because there's incredible healing that's found in there. So um, give yourself some grace and take your sweet time. You're in no rush.